Athlons here has Iowa going eight and four, five and four in the Big Ten, second place to Wisconsin. Wisconsin six and three, Iowa five and four, tied with Minnesota. And I assume that they are telling us that Iowa, they're predicting to defeat Minnesota to be in second place. So we both know based on our conversations, I believe that that would be on the low end of where you would project the Hawkeyes this year. But it's on the high end of what Vegas thinks, right? (laughs) So, so Vegas has Iowa at seven and a half. So they, so Athlon's got them at the over, which I would agree with, but you know, I know we, we, we've went through the schedule how many times, but five and four in the conference, when I was seeing the idea of maybe seven and five or even eight and four, I'm thinking, okay, they probably have Iowa losing in Ames. But no, that you, Athlon's got Iowa going five and four in the conference. So the four losses again, we're playing the same game we have for several weeks. Penn State, I guess Wisconsin on the road. Who are the other two losses? At Nebraska? Yeah. Somebody got mad when I said I implied that that might happen a few weeks back. They've um, got Nebraska three and six. Yeah. So again, the math has to work out, right? Michigan State at home. <laughs> They've got so, Michigan State at four and five. Maybe so, I get. <laughs> You know, there's got to be a mathematical uh, yeah. sensibility with all of this. Well, I assume that they're at least smart enough t- for that the math would add up in terms of 500 within the league. But you're right. Not only does it have to add up within the league, you have to be able to connect where those losses are and they have to make sense. So Illinois, Illinois would probably be on the, on the yeah, that's in Kinnick. At four and five. Have, well, I, I guess they have them losing to them. I like I said, we we've went over this so many Rutgers. Where do they have Rutgers? Three and six. <laughs> I mean, you look at the schedule, Mark. They got it. If you're projecting, if you're if you're looking at the schedule based on Athlon's projections, they're playing a bunch of teams who are projected to be under 500 at the end of the year. <laughs> I mean, they, I mean, it's it's isn't that crazy? So they've yeah. definitely got them losing to Penn State and Wisconsin. There's no question about it. They have them yes. losing to those two teams. But you just said that based on on where they have the standings, they have them beating Minnesota. We would assume they have them beating Northwestern, probably beating Illinois. So again, I, I guess I could pull up the schedule if they want to do this again, but uh. <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin and Penn state are the only obvious choices for losses. And then otherwise they're losing to teams that they're going to be higher in the standings to in the other two games. Purdue's at home. Purdue's oh. three and six. Yeah. I mean, that, including like Athlon's. That- I don't know if that's Athlon uh, looking at – do you think Athlon is at all influenced? This, did this come out before the Vegas totals came out? Um, well, it takes a while to produce a magazine, so yeah. I'm get, guessing that this has you know, mm-hmm. been tucked away for a while. Well, it's interesting. I mean, it's interesting that – I mean, it's not, not – again, I'm not a betting man, but I'm just talking about the totals from Athlon, the totals from Vegas. It is interesting to see all these prognosticators predicting Iowa at 7-5 and five or 8-4. and four. And I think most are toward the eight and four mark. Who is the guy from? I, I don't even bring up a competitor because I don't really think he's a competitor, Mark, because you're a lot better than he is. The guy for on three that that uh, he's a former he's a former football player. I don't and know. he's he's a commentator on YouTube. Some people probably know who I'm talking about, but he's a commentator on YouTube. I think it was on three's way of trying to compensate for the success of Josh Pate over a two, four, seven sports. But this guy's a former football player, and I saw somebody sent this to me because I don't have time to watch YouTube stuff, just like you don't have time to watch other people on YouTube, Mark. But this guy literally said one of his best bets was to take Iowa at the under. And I thought, you're a you're an idiot. <laughs> I, didn't say, I mean, I didn't say that in the comments, but I mean, that's that was my first thought. That's foolish. That is foolish. But again, I mean, maybe there's something that everybody else knows that I don't, and you don't seem to know what these people know. So what are we missing? 